and I'm here to give you my January wrap up which is pros and cons and if any of you are new to the pros and cons is that I just it is what it is pros and cons of each book now I try to keep out my actual personal opinion I just try to give the pros and cons of each but sometimes you could tell which book I actually liked which book I didn't like um I mostly try to keep it neutral um if you guys if you want to know my actual opinions or the stars um my link to my goodreads is in the des description box where you can find all my links to any of my socials and all and, and everything else so now that I'm done with that intro, now I'm going to go into the books that I have read. Now, the first one is I DNF'd, but um, I'm going to give you the pros and cons. Maybe it's for you, but that book was not for me. Little Woman by Louise, Lu Louisa May Alcott. The pros are cozy. Delightful, happy, the cons, dull and preachy. Characters came off as morality plots. And the message that artists are selfish. The second book I read is Someone Someone Knows by Lisa Scatoline. Pros story uh storytelling the final twist felt you could feel the the main the main character's guilt bad um the cons no likable characters author comes uh, okay no author covers a lot of nifty Topics and none of them well and sappy trope. The next one is Sharp Objects by Gillian, Gillian Flynn. Prose, brilliant writing, good onion way to learn about the main character, a small town whole uh hiding a big big secrets cons not an easy read gets question okay questionable choices of the main character and disturbing the next book the lost world by michael Turton. He's um it's the second book to um The Lost World. The prose Dino Spunk Jaw Dropping Nail Biting Cons Pop reveals itself too quick uh bit boring and characters weak. The next one I read is uh, Electric Arches by E.B. L. Wing, which is, is a poetry. And I want to say that I took the pros and cons from a person of color, because this author, is, this um, poet or author is a person of color. And I took, and I read another, um, another book that was a person of color as well, and that I took the pros and cons from a person of color as well. Pros: richness, death about black girl at black girlhood and black uh, awareness, and spirit of this collection soars. The cons: overly abstract, haphazard, or can't read my writing. 
um, what was it? The poems weren't written like poems or, some, or something. I'm sorry, I can't read my handwriting. Uh, not a coherent narrator, not narration. The next one is The Spy Who Raised Me by Ted Anderson. I read this as an art for art, as an Met Galley. And the prose is color scheme, overall story, and art and word co well um meaning like the pictures went well with the bubbles uh the cons art sucked ugly and times oh, oh never mind action <laughs> can't read my hand in pantry action scenes were laughable and just a regular YA story. Okay, so the next one is The Winter's Promise by Christine Du Bois, which is originally written in French and translated to English. Prose, unique magic system, intense politics, gorgeously written. Cons, slow placed, a lot were, a lot of people I found were confused, a lot of the, because I go through the, sometimes I come through, I come with my own pros and cons, and sometimes I go through Goodreads and read the, the reviews, and one, one star to three star, because sometimes three, three stars is a good could, could be good but also has some negatives to it so anyway I looked at the pros and cons for this and a lot of people were saying they were confused uh, everyone is awful next one is the, the Savage Song by Victoria Schwab pros superb world building August the sweetest monster. Monsters are created because of human violence. Now that's the best part of of it, like, cause you got, cause it makes you really think about it. Like, what if that happened here in real life? Think about it. Cons to. Two uh, wearing sides lacked originality. Uh, characters were predictable, and a lot didn't like, and a lot didn't like Kate. One of the per pers main perspectives. Uh, then the next one is the companion book, is Our D Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. The prose super dark. August still is everything. Monsters are wickedly dark. Cons. Pacing was weird. Told many times to feel something. And plot felt. Please. Please. Something. I don't know what I wrote there. Uh, sorry. Um. Reserved, revealed, I don't know. Sorry, I got lazy at this point. Next is The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. Uh, amazing humor, banter on point, characters lovable. Cons is Simon's behavior not justified. Daphne did a horrible thing. And the heron is a little boring. Moonstruck Volume 1, Magic to Brew by Grace Ellis. This also was, um, I think it's three things that were by a, um, PLC author. Um, this is, this was a, um, Graphic novel, uh, prose is charming, beautiful, 
are a good rep for uh, per persons of color, um, for LGBTQIA+. Khan's main plot conflicted was a bit lacking. World needed a little more detail and everyone was mean to Julie. Bloody Rose by Nicholas Ames. If you guys have been following my videos, some of you, if some of you have been following my videos, will know that I've been reading, body reading Bloody Rose for a few, three months now, and I finally finished it. Here are other pros and cons. Exciting, thrilling, found family trope, strong female characters. The cons, some felt it, if it, some felt like it was YA coming of age, not an adult. Too much animal killing and characters were one note. And the next book I read was Wicked Fox by Kate Chow. The atmosphere was on point, rich in Korean culture and mythology. K drummers. Lovers will eat this up. Cons. Not very descriptive. Plot felt repetitive and the romance not developed well. The next one is One Dark Thrum by, Ken by Kendra Blake. Pros. Solid follow-up. Engrossing story. Catherine coming into herself and descending into madness. Cons, festive events to carry on the plot, character development made no sense, storylines all over the place. Fifteen, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, prose, solid Greek mythology retelling, Beautiful story, wonderfully written. Cons. Dialogue, ridiculous. Pacing off and characterization fail. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is another one I took from Own Voices, Own Voices Review. Pure Poetry, important book. The family aspect on point. Cons overhyped. Criminals portrayed as victims. Characters not believable. The princess saves herself in this one by Amanda Loveless. Prose beautiful, moving, girl power. Felt like Twitter posts, which is the con. Too depressing. And style didn't feel like poetry. Then I read The City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is a self space uh buddy read. Um the one that everyone's reading. Um uh there's going to be a live with Vish from Books with B. And um when that live show come, comes up, I'll come back and link it in the description box. But right now, there's no, as I'm filming this, there's no live yet. We didn't have, um, the pros, amazing mythology, cool mystery element, kick-ass female lead. The cons is some moments a bit dry, dialogue, bad, uh... And writing comes off clinical. And then my ne next book is going to be what I learned because it is um, nonfiction. And some of my nonfiction, not, uh, except for um, true crime and Munmar and any other nonfiction is going to be... Um, what I've learned, there's no giving me no pros and cons, it's gonna be what I learned. Um, so the book is The New Jim Crow Mass Incarceration in the 
Age of Colorblindness by Michelle Alexander. Slavery, crime, save, slavery equals crime. So the slavery, so the crime now is slavery because if a black person, like, because most people who are of color are in jails. So when they make, so they, when they do a crime, like, say, sell weed, they'll go to jail for it. Or, um, say, or they take, uh, or they get arrested for a higher, like, most of them are, anyway, the whole system is against black people. The people rather believe the lie that most black people sell drugs, but mostly it is white people who are selling the drugs. So I'm going, so that's that, um, for this month, I don't, I only read in, um, in November, that's why, not November, this is not November Tower, Tower, it's, it is January, so that's why I read in January, um, so the next books I'm reading is The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. Um, I like to know very little about what um, I'm reading, what I'm, what I'm going to read or anything like that. Um, I'm reading this. Yeah, and then, and then the next book I'm reading and um, is The Beautiful by Renee Aude. And then I sometime... And one of the, so I'm gonna make a video of Q and A since I hit 100 subscribers. Um, you can leave your questions in the comments box if you if you feel like it or if you want to know anything about me, you can leave it, leave a comment. Um, I will also have I I will also have um in my Instagram which is linked in my description box, so you can go find me there. Uh, if you want to do the stories, questions there, and I'll have, like, you know, like, that box, I'll use that box so you can submit questions there. If you know me, if you know, if you want, you can DM me uh, through uh, Discord or um, at me at Discord or anything you feel like it. Um... So yeah, that's that. And don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.